All right, so we're back from the break, and I just gave you my reaction to the news that John Gruden is coming back, back to the future, as the Oakland Raiders go back to the future to bring in their former head coach, John Gruden, uh, on a 10-year $100 million deal. Huge news in the National Football League, which is expected to be announced at a formal press conference on Tuesday, and... There's a lot of good news coming out of the National Football League. A lot of positive news coming out of the National Football League. That was one of them. I'm not an Oakland Raiders fan. I will say I'm a Buffalo Bills fan. That is my my team of choice. But I am very excited to uh, see how this pans out. I, I'm a big John Gruden fan. I'm a big uh, fan of the game known as uh, football and football, American football and, and football you know, I like soccer. Soccer's all right with me. Um, but that's neither here nor there. There's a lot of positive news coming out of Western New York right now. The buzz is thick in the air. We have something, we've, we're, we're about to witness something that we haven't seen uh, in, in quite some time, and that is the Buffalo Bills playoff game as the Bills take on the Jacksonville Jaguars this Sunday at 105 uh, to, you know, see whether their season continues. And this was this 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 lined up perfectly by the grace of the football gods um the bills needed to beat miami the bills needed cincinnati to beat the ravens it lined up perfectly each and every buffalonian has every reason to be happy until they open up the buffalo news from a couple days ago now this was probably something that surprised and i want to put in a disclaimer here it is not the job of the buffalo news to to put out pieces that people want to read or want to you know enjoy reading it's their job to to put out the stories that that sometimes people don't want to read and, and there, there's stories that are somewhat the harsh reality or the harsh truth of the matter or the fact of the matter the fact of the matter is dot 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 that's what this article was intended to be that's what this article was supposed to be. You know, that, that was the spin on the article, that this would be, you know, the fact of the matter is there's more to Western New York than the Buffalo Bills. You could say that in any other weekend leading up to any other game but this one. Because as I said from the top, this is the first Buffalo Bills playoff game in over, uh, you know, 17 years. So if Buffalo Bills fans want to fly down to Jacksonville, and I know many, if they want to fly down to Jacksonville and enjoy their their Sunday in Jacksonville and take this game in, if they want to jump through tables and light tables on fire, and if they want to do whatever the heck it is that they want to do, that's their prerogative. That's their prerogative. Time and time again, as I have grown up in this area since I was, you know, since I was born, I've lived in Western New York my entire life. I read each and every day, whether it is a great circumstance surrounding the Bills or a negative one, the reaction is always 10 times out of 10 negative from guys like Rod Watson, from guys like Jerry Sullivan, from guys like Chopin the Bulldog. Um, never from you know, basically reporters or radio hosts that work within the team. Guys like Mike Rodak put a negative spin on everything. Um, but guys like John Murphy, guys like Chris Brown, they're able to tell it like it is. Adam Benini, um, Paul Peck, Tim Graham, they're able to tell it like it is without insulting the fan base. And that's what this guy did. He insulted the fan base. He put out this bogus article that, that makes me refer to him forevermore as the Buffalo buffoon, because clearly this guy, this guy does not get it. He doesn't get that this is the lifeblood of the community, that this is what people have waited over a decade and a half for. And they're very excited. They have every reason to be excited. And I want to let it be known. I didn't read this piece of trash. I didn't read this guy's just spewing venom um, in one article. I didn't. I didn't read it. I don't care to read it. I'm never gonna read it. So for people that say, "Well, did you read the article? Can you give me a quote?" No, I'm not going to because I've read enough articles that are highly similar to that of Mr. Uh, Buffalo Buffoon. 
and Mr. Rod Watson, he's not doing anything original. He's just taking pieces out of Jerry Sullivan's playbook and using them to build his own name. And whether we like to admit it or not, it worked. It got people talking about him. I never even knew who the guy was until this article was written. I never even knew who he was. So mission accomplished, Rod. You, you did what you needed to do. You said that this, that, and the other, that, that the city of Buffalo has to be more important than the Buffalo Bills. Last time I checked, there isn't a whole lot to root for around here outside of the Buffalo Bills and the Buffalo Sabres. What are we going to go to Niagara Falls and say, wow, that's, that's something we can root for? What are we going to go to the Maid of the Mist? What, I mean, what, what else is there entertainment-wise? You know, there's Shays. There's all that, those things only last so long. The Buffalo Bills have been the number one draw of this area for the last 50 plus years since the since the day they joined the AFL. And we have come so close to winning a championship in the National Football League four times. We have come so so close to making the playoffs so many times that the fans have finally witnessed it. And they have every right to be excited. So how dare this guy? How dare he write this just garbage? Trying to speak for other people. Trying to say, well, this isn't something that people should be that excited about. What? I'm honestly shocked that the Buffalo News let this guy write this article. And actually put ink to copy and put this to put this to press so to speak and put this out i mean it, it's it's really shocking that that actually took place and it got people talking if the buffalo news wants to be that paper i guess they're joining the the club so to speak the club of just artificial just not authentic not original um, takes, so to speak, whether it be in writing or audio or you know video, and they just let this guy just just put this out, knowing that the fans would be completely insulted, knowing that the fans deserve this moment. The fans deserve to be this excited. You ask ten Bills fans whether they will win against Jacksonville or not. You know what they'll say? They won't give you a yes or no answer. Some might, I'd say maybe 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 4 will give you a, 4 will say 8 give you a yes or no answer. 2 will give you we don't care, we're just happy we we passed we we got past the drought. That's what they'll say. They'll say we're just happy that we got past the drought. I'm one of those guys. I think they got a damn good chance at beating Jacksonville, and I'm going to lay out the reasons why in the next part of the Thomas take. But that's neither here nor there. I'm happy that they won't be mentioned in this same just archaic mold that they shattered the archaic mold known as the Music City Miracle Game as the last game that the Bills made the playoffs. They can finally say we made the playoffs. And get that monkey off their back. Why would anyone not be excited about that? Why would anyone not understand that, let alone someone that represents the Buffalo media? Granted, someone that I didn't even know. And I have a pretty good grasp on the Buffalo media, being that I'd like to think, although I'm a podcast guy and you know, write for two separate, two separate sites, I, I like to cover the teams as closely as I can. I never heard of this guy. I never heard of this guy until this article was written. So I don't know if they're just trying to get this guy noticed. It worked. I don't know if he's just trying to get noticed. It worked. But you're getting noticed for the wrong reasons, guy. And if that's your real message, which I don't think it is, I think that this was just a complete ploy just to get noticed, just to get people talking, not straight from the heart, because anytime someone asks me about the article, 
they can say that it seemed just not authentic whatsoever, not original whatsoever. And will I waste my time opening up a, a site, going to the site and reading this article? Will I waste my time finding someone with the paper dated a couple of days ago with Rod Watson's buffoonery written? No, I won't. I won't waste my time with it. There's games where there's games where I know Jerry Sullivan is going to have a negative, negative nitpick way of, of looking at it. And he looked at things negatively when the Bills selected Trey White. He looked at things negatively when they hired Sean McDermott. He looked at things negatively when they paid for Micah Hyde. Three for three on that one. O for three for Jerry. Three for three for Buffalo. O for three for Jerry. And O for one for Rod Watson. Wouldn't be shocked at all to see this guy barely get an ounce of, you know, I don't want to say airtime, but I guess um, push from the fans. Doesn't have any fans. Maybe the Buffalo News likes them, but that's about it. I'm Ryan Thomas. That was the Thomas Take. Take care.